Della, uh, first game for the Broncos. How, how was that? How, how does that rate in your career? Uh, to be honest, I, I rate that a lot higher um, than my debut at the Tigers. Um, it's been seven years, and I think just the process it's taken me to get back to this point, I think uh, makes it a lot more uh, rewarding for me personally and also as a family. Um, not just the family, uh, my partner and my kids here, but also my family back in New Zealand that I haven't seen for like two and a half, three years. Um, I think that it's just, they all know how hard it's take, taken me to get back to this point. Um, seven, seven years since I first played and that, that is up there uh, with representing my country. So it is one of probably the biggest football achievements I, I'll, I'll keep next to my name. And, you know, playing for the Broncos uh, was always a dream of mine and um, just the rich, rich history that we have at the club um, just makes it a lot more, um, much more of an honour to, to play for a club like this and with the team that we have here. Yeah. You certainly um, you certainly showed your versatility tonight. I think you ran for over 139 metres. Uh, you had lots of touches on the ball, started in the centres, went to the wing. Um, how does that how does that rate off space having to do those various things in a game and come through? Uh, like I, honestly, I'm really disappointed that um, that we had the loss as a team, but also um, I, I could run for 140 meters. I can run for 50. Um, I just want to do my part for the, for the team, and that's that's what my mindset was coming. If it was on the wing, center, if it was on the bench, I'll literally do anything. And this is a long way from Cougaroy, um, out here at, at, at Penrith. Um, uh, did you have to pinch yourself, you know, kind of playing against the Premiers on a Friday night out here? Yeah, um, like this is probably, they're probably one of the benchmarks for uh, rugby league um, at the moment. I think, you know, they spoke about the unbeaten record they've had at home. Um, and these are the games that you want to play because it tests you um, about how good you are as a player and as a team. Um, we really stuck into it, but then, um, for most of the game, but then it just sort of fell apart towards the end, which is really disappointing. Um, and I'm really disappointed in those uh, kicks um, to, to my edge. But um, yeah, I'm, we're going to stick strong and, you know, if I'm in the team next week or not, that, that doesn't matter. I just want to do my part. I think, you know, this is a, a lot of younger players here that they'll learn from this experience and take that forward, do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty inexperienced with uh, football games, but um, I try to be a role model and a mentor. Um, and if this is, you know, uh, a lesson that we are going to take out of the, of the game about trying to stick with it, um, even if we lose players or not, um, we, we will do whatever we can to learn from this game, especially against such a good team. Great stuff, Ella. And, and who are these little guys? Uh, these, are my, these are my two beautiful daughters. Uh, this is Nico and this is Irie. Um, it's really special to have them because uh, Nico was there when I played uh, in 2015. She was pretty young. Well, yeah, uh, for Tonga and also for the Tigers. But this is um, Irie's first stadium uh, football game she's been to. So every time they see a logo of the Broncos, they always say, Dad, it's the Broncos. And I said, I haven't played yet, but... Um, He's been in a lot of teams. <laughs> That's been what they the say, Sharks. journeyman. He's been in so. the Tigers. He's been in the. He's been in the Seagulls. <laughs> he now he's in the Broncos. I know, and I'm really happy. So yeah, thank you, thank you for giving me this opportunity for for the club um, to represent them and my family. So yeah, thank you. No worries. And are you proud of your dad? Yeah. Go Broncos. Yeah. Go Broncos. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you.